Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I took up a new hobby recently that I've been thinking about for several years. As you know, I love making things, and making things that you can eat is even better. Or in this case, drink. I did a lot of research on this topic, and the common wisdom online is that you cannot cap commercial bottles because the necks are too thin, or the lower rim is too small, and the bottle will break. Another thing that seems to be taken as gospel is that you certainly cannot cap twist-off bottles. Well, here's my problem. I've been saving these Blue Moon bottles for a long time now, and you know what? I never realized they were twist-offs. I certainly feel stupid now because I've always used an opener. Anyway, now I have 36 bottles that are perhaps useless. So I'm going to experiment for myself because I've come not to trust what I see online or on TV, uh, and so let's get to it. Let's take this one step at a time. I'm going to put vinegar in the bottle first and see if I can cap it. All right. Well, now did it seal? Okay, apparently so. But will it hold pressure? It doesn't have to be that much pressure, really. So let's add some baking soda and then twist the cap back on and see if that holds. It'll react fast, so I won't have time to cap it, so I'll have to try to twist the cap back on quickly. Here it goes. Well, all right then. That was actually fairly easy. I'll put this here just in case it leaks or explodes or something like that. And wait. It survived overnight with no apparent leakage. So let's listen and see if the fizz is still in there. Haha, <laughs> how about that? Which is good because I'm going to do, I'm going to need to bottle tomorrow and I'm going to have to pick up some official homebrew bottles from Learn to Brew because I don't have enough uh, of these Blue Moon bottles. Well, I'll let you know how that goes. Well, the results are in. I broke two of the official bottles right at the neck. I didn't break any of the thinner Blue Moon bottles. And I discovered that I absolutely hate bottling. And we'll see how long before I get into kegging. Probably not, but a few batches anyway. Let's see what we've got. Ah, that sounds promising. And look at that. And it smells fantastic. Well, I'd say the results are in. For Blue Moon bottles, at least, you can cap commercial bottles and twist-offs. So don't necessarily believe what you see on TV or read online. Do the experiments for yourself, uh, to the best of your ability. It's fun, and you'll discover something new. You might just have a nice drink as well. Cheers. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.